Okay, you guys, this video was specifically recommended to me by someone, I think last week, and I have not done a video on any of Hugh Laurie's stuff. I don't know that he does stand up, does he? But I know he's a comedian. I mean, the, the main thing that, I mean, when I started to pay attention to him as an actor was when he did House. I was aware of him before, but he was just one of those actors to me where you see them, you know, like he was in 101 Down. Well, actually, I had forgotten he was in that. I didn't even remember that that was him until after he was in House. And then I was interested to find out what else he did. And then saw he was in 101 Dalmatians and then remembered his performance in there. But I also had found out that he was on this show on BBC with Stephen Fry and it was, I never have seen it. I've just heard of it. Was it called um, Laurie and Fry or something like that? But um, so I don't know what this particular video is about and it's not your typical stand up. It's just a comedy, little comedy clip or something. I guess from their show. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. It's only four minutes long. I have a feeling there's not going to be a huge amount of commentary to make on this because it seems like it's just straightforward comedy. Maybe nothing really, you know, maybe not a real big underlying sort of tone or message to it. But uh, let's just go ahead. It's lighthearted, I guess. And that's good because my brain is fried right now. So um, looking forward to this. Oh, sorry. It's called um, Hugh Laurie's Kitty Puss. All right. What you got in there? I'm sorry? What you got in there, I wonder? Uh, a cat. You've got a mug in there, have you? You've got a kitty puss. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. This is Clover, my Daxie. I've always had Daxies. I like to see the kitty Daxies dog. best. Really? Is that right? Mm. <laughs> So, what sort of mogwog is your kissy puss? Hmm? <laughs> is it um, uh, tapples or a tom tom or what? Burmese. Ah, oh, Burmy. I love a Burmy. Is it a girl or a boy Burmy? Oh, Christ. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's male. Hello, Mr. Burmy. What's your name then? Yes, you can't speak, actually. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they can understand every word you say, can't they? Not much evidence for that. <laughs> My first Daxie, my first ever Daxie, was called Scully. I named him after Hugh Scully, who presents the Antiques Roadshow. OK. I love that programme, don't you? Pervertedly. <laughs> do you know what I do of a Sunday? Every day after we've had our walk, cos Clover and I always go walkings of a Sunday, well, you know, just Clover and me and, of course, my little pooper scooper. Uh, uh, OK. Uh, because that nasty parky man doesn't like to see poochie poop on his best grass, does he? No, so... Oh, Christ. <laughs> and, of course, I don't like to see poochie poop on my best carpet, and if I do, Clover knows she can expect a visit from the smack fairy. Oh. <laughs> so we come back and I make myself a cheese and tomato toasty. Oh, my God. <laughs> a what? A cheese and what? Tomato. 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 Oh, tomato. Oh. <laughs> tomato. 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 Don't say it again. <laughs> I make myself a cheese and tomato toasty, sometimes two toasties, and an old muggles of tea, and I just oh snudge it down in front of the television, and I watch the roadshow. Mm. I love my Sunday afternoonies. Jesus, God help. <laughs> <laughs> and just of course, get up and if it go. Isn't the road show, it might be that animal program with Desmond. Desmond Morris. Ah, oh, yes, but we call him Desmond in our household because he's like a friend. He's like an old chum. He's Desmond. <laughs> or we might watch Master Chef with Lloydie, or the Closey Show with Jeff Banksy Wanksy. <laughs> <laughs> we love our Sunday afters, don't we, Clover? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's wrong with Mr. Burney? What? Mr. Burney. Why is he coming to see Betty Lou? Has he got a poorly tums? Oh, she's this guy. <laughs> Did you just say Betty Lou? <laughs> Sore throaty? Hmm? What's the matter with Mr. Burmy? I brought him in to be killed. <laughs> oh. Excuse you? He's got cancer of the liver. I brought him in to be put to death. Oh. 
cancer. Yes. Oh, y'all, this, this hits close to home, y'all. Cancer of the liver? Yes. Oh. Kensy Wensy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> You got Kenzie Diddley's then. Oh Mr. gosh, that's kind. You're going to be put to deathies, are you? Is your little heart going to be made to stoppy wop wop? Oh, Are they going to go killy chum chums? Are they going to put your coldy woldy body wad in the groundy wound? Are they? Hey? How can they keep a straight face? Over. Yeah. Oh. What can I do for you? I'd like to have this man put down, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, that was okay. That was short. Um, okay. Well, that that was just okay. It's it's called I. the The name of the show was right in front of my eyeballs. A bit of Fry and Laurie, and I was calling it Laurie and Fry or something. Anyway, whatever. You guys knew what I was talking about because this show apparently is pretty well known, and um, so it just looks like it like a little you know comedy skit type sort of show, I guess, similar to, you know, like SNL or Mad TV, that sort of thing. I mean, obviously not exactly the same, but that type of show where it's like little small skits that they have. Um, nothing really much to comment on specifically with regard to the video itself, but maybe the reason this one was suggested to me is because, and I don't remember what video that um the suggestion showed up on but i'm wondering if it was the one where i was talking about what's going on with my dog dora so it's timely i mean it felt good to sort of laugh even though the subject matter is a little bit sad and serious right um at some point we're probably facing that with our with our dog <clears throat> and um so, but it didn't, it didn't make me as sad as I thought it might would when, when they mentioned it. And I was like, oh, this is, you know, but it, it was okay because the, this, this little thing here, it's little skit or whatever was so lighthearted that, it, you know, you could, you just can't help but laugh. Now, one thing I wanted to say about Stephen Fry is I really appreciate him a lot for, the stance that he is, has taken in support of freedom of expression because he understands the danger of trying to limit that too much like what is going on these days. It's been a slow buildup. It's getting pretty ridiculous now. And I appreciate that he has always stood up against that sort of thing. I love that about him. I think, wasn't it Stephen Fry who did some sort of, um, I think it was some sort of, you know, where these people, um, like they have a debate on stage. And I thought it was Stephen Fry and Jordan Peterson against a, a, a group of other people who were sort of, you know, like anti, they were like the opposing argument. And was that the one where the guy that Jordan Peterson was talking with, he was being very insulting and just stooping to pathetic lengths. You know, I mean, just ba I, I, I want to say that it, the, the guy turned it into a race type thing. If this is the same video that I'm thinking about. And, and I think it really got under, under Jordan Peterson's skin because he's trying to have a decent logical conversation. And he came up against someone like that you know, who, who brings this, you know, emotionally infused, um, very bigoted type of argument against him personally. And it was extremely insulting. I, I did not appreciate the way that guy acted at all. And I, I felt like Jordan Peterson, you know, he kept his annoyance reined in pretty well, but you could tell he was aggravated. So I'm not a hundred percent if that's the same thing, but I'm just, I'm having this feeling that it, that it was, and I don't even remember the title of the video, but I thought for sure Jordan Peterson, Stephen Fry, and I don't even remember the names of the other people that were there, <clears throat> but it was some sort of debate about free speech, I thought. Now watch me be completely wrong, but whenever I see Stephen Fry, I think about these things that he has 
stood up to speak out against. And also he's the one, I think I put up a, a meme picture uh, of a quote that he said in one of my videos a long time ago. And it was about, you know, offended and how saying you're offended, that's basically doesn't mean anything. So what? You're offended. That's paraphrasing. But what he said was so much better than the way I said it. Anyway, whatever. I kind of took a little bit of a, um, a diversion there. But these were things that popped into my head as I was uh, watching this and thinking about just him in general. And um, okay, well, this was fun. A little bit of a lighthearted thing. And I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up recording for today. This is the only one I felt like I had the energy to do. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and um, call it quits and go do some editing. So I have something ready for tomorrow. Okay, guys, later. Mm -hmm.